Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die 1.0. Today we are going to be getting a bunch of materials because that is the only thing left. If you didn't see the last episode, I'm very, very further ahead. That's not how you say that grammatically. But bookstores and the nerdy outfit have catapulted me to the future and now we have access to a lot of good stuff like the gyrocopter, robotic turrets, Better tools, better guns. I still need more handgun magazines to really get what I want, but we can take a little break to get some materials and craft things I need. I'm going to make a level 6 iron shovel because I think it'll be good enough to one-shot the terrain. Could I really do a level 6? Ah, probably not, right? Just a level 5? Yeah, we can. let's just do that. Let's just do a level 5 shovel. We don't need to do a level 6. That'll take a couple of minutes. I'll save my one last legendary part for something a bit more useful. Um, we're also waiting for the steel to craft for a steel pick, because that is another thing I need. Once we have access to these better amounts of resources, we can really just have everything I want in the game. These shouldn't be in here, I meant to put that in there. And I got the shovel, because you'll need clay for your forge, obviously. So that's going to take four minutes. What should we do in the meantime? We could do a quick tr uh, quest. Not a tier 4 though. I'm not convinced my current loadout would be very well equipped for a tier 4. Compared to tier 3s where I would just completely stomp. But I need more gas as well. While we wait for all that stuff to be done, let's go talk to Trader Wright. See if we can get like a nearby tier 2. Just so I can respawn some of the cars and get some gas and things like that. Just while we wait for materials to be done crafting. That's pretty close by. Like Is there a closer one? Oh yeah, 200 meters, that's better. Like the Watton Residence. I wonder if I should make a level 5 wrench. Maybe. Here we are, I don't think this place has a car. Start it though. Take the mailbox. We could always use that truck if I really need to get out of here. Has it got any loot in it? No. And by truck I mean school bus, of course. Mailbox. Just paper? Yeah. And the car in here is broken. Well, not great for gas for me, but whatever. Let's do this anyway. A handgun magazine. I should have really waited on that until I put my nerdy armor on, but we can now make a level 3 magnum if I wanted. Sharp 6, don't care about maximizing that one anyway. Okay, let's go do the actual POI. Into the basement. Hi. Farming, which I will keep to min max and learn how to purify water. Nice. Ooh, a food crate with food in it. Up the stairs. Anybody home? Hi. That's like seven red dots. There we go. We're done. Where's the loot? Ah. A hobo stew and a skull. Pretty helpful. Ah, here's one of those medical cabinets, by the way, that can probably give you acid. That I was looking for for like three days. None that time, but you should know that's what it looks like from that one episode about acid. <laughs> tech planet and a forge head. I'm obviously done with forge heads, so we'll just keep the tech planet. A little bit of meds here. Tech planet and a medical journal. I'm just reading medical journals because it's not a very useful skill and I find them everywhere. Let's go back to wrecked and then see if my uh, initial set of tools is done there. Oh yeah, we'll need some gas from this truck. Once I've got a steel pick, I will of course go and mine a shitload of oil shield because this is getting really annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, let's grab the nerdy outfit and read these couple of books. Robotic drone at quality 3, nice. I don't know if I'm going to craft one of those. I don't trust them not to kill me. Did I refuel this? Is that actually how much gas I had? Okay, good. <laughs> I just took down a whole bus and I got nothing. Still, 5% isn't great, but it's better than literally nothing. Take those crafting magazines. You reset today. He's got water filters here as well. So yeah, the traders just kind of have those now. Ooh, fuel saver mod. 
I am so poor, I actually can't even afford it. But we can get money quite easily. Right, let's see. A few good books there. I'll go put my nerdy armor on first. Is there a... Um... No. It's sugar butts. It's all... No. Okay. Yeah, I've got some spare shit I can sell direct in favor of getting that fuel saver mod. I'll need five acid before I can actually use it, though. But there's worse problems to have. Here we go. Tell me I didn't just upgrade my ability to make a better steel pick. Oh, god damn it. I'm going to need more steel. Okay, so normally I wouldn't sell these, but uh, I can definitely sell Trader Wrecked a few engines, because, um, holy shit. <laughs> That'll give me a couple hundred dukes each, that's something. I could definitely sell him a stack of headlights, I don't need that many. And you know what, I'll sell him a level 6 battery and the two level 4s as well. I've got some cash I could give him. I don't need sledgehammer parts. I won't need more baton parts, because I've got a level 6. Spear parts I don't need. Maybe the other things I will need, so let's hold on to those. We could sell him this old piece of armor. Is there any mods for it? There we go. Wait, there's my shovel. And how much more steel do I need for the new pick? Oh, I can make a level 4. I need 40 forged steel. There's 29. There's 4. So we need another 7 forged steel. I should be able to make that. Yeah, I can perfectly make that, but we need more clay. So hold that thought. Let's go get some money and get that fuel saver mod schematic, though. Here's some money. Let's buy this. And let's just get a little bit of gas. Since I have all this excess money now. Just so I can get around without bullshit going on. Read that. Now, the, the limiting factor is definitely going to be the acid for that. They've made it four now instead of five. That's nice. But I still only have one. So scrapping cars is still going to be at the top of my list of things to do. So maybe a wrench would be smart. A level five one because I'm not wasting a legendary part on that. Or what level of ratchet can I make? What do you spell ratchet? Ah, level 1. Level 1 should be better than level 5 wrenches now, right? They should be. We could make that. I just need a little bit of extra forged steel. Still, I would kind of prefer to not have a level 1, but it's a substantial improvement over a level 2 wrench, actually. We could definitely do that. There we go, we have some gas. I didn't realise I had scrapped so much other bullshit. I could have just bought as much gas as I needed for a little while, but it's still... I would prefer to not have to buy my gas because it's not very efficient to do it that way compared to just mining it. God, that was annoying for the length of time I was dealing with it for. This water. The single dew collector produces so much fucking water now, it's great. Can't wait for them to nerf the shit out of it. Right, there we go. Let's get the other materials for the steel pick. Craft that. There we go. Right, I'm going to go mine a bunch of clay. So I'll be back in a bit when I've done that. Where's a good place to do it, actually? Is there a farm area? No, I'll just do it at the back of my house then. Fuck it. I'll try and get a stack. We can't quite one-shot regular soil yet. That's kind of annoying. Oh, we got a challenge complete. Hang on. Team that. Yeah, I can't quite do soil with this level 5 shovel, but once I get a good set of mining armor, I actually imagine I will be able to do that. The top soil requires an extra hit. I do have this fully modded, by the way. Here we go, there's a stack of clay. Let me just cover this over so I don't fall in. And let's start smelting that in here. I need bellows. Hmm, one second. Leather pipes, duct tape, nails. Need a couple more pieces of duct tape, but that's fine. Oh, craft that duct tape. And then nails, do I have any? A little bit. And pipes, yep. So now we just need some duct tape, and then we can make some bellows to make the forge a lot more efficient. There's my steel pick, though, in the meantime. Ooh, it has four mod slots. Let's see if I've got an extra mod anywhere. I don't think any... Oh, that'll do. Woodcutter is not perfect for a pick, but it is good enough. Oh, I still need the axe in case I need to chop something open, so I need to get a steel axe soon. Hmm. Bellows? Or are those made in my inventory? I don't actually know. Let's see. Bello no, you can make those in your inventory if you want. Cool. Right, have I got iron by the way or is it all smelted in there already there's 200 iron yeah, we need some oil shale as well but it's not as desperate now that we got the little injection of gas there let's start smelling this and i'm gonna go mine a stack of iron which shouldn't take very long at all because iron is twice as frequent as all the other ores in terms of like how much you get per hit so it's really easy to get a lot of it so i'll do that really quickly so I can fill the forge up completely and we can just pump out as much steel as we need to every day. And I'll get back to you. Oh, I got the gather iron challenge. I didn't know I didn't already have that. Let's get that. We got a skill point as well. I'm not sure what I want to put that into. I think I need to respec soon pretty desperately. Because now I've got a lot of extra shit that just doesn't do anything for my build. 
in the meantime, let's get some more physician, because that lets you craft faster at the chemistry station, and it's a good perk to have later on for a batons build. Right, there's a stack of iron. Perfect. Now, we need to smelt that, obviously, but other than that, we need to go and get some oil shale, and then I want to do some quests and get more handgun magazines, so I can make, like, a level 6 magnum if I wanted to. Where the fuck do I live? Over here. So I'm not sure how long it takes to smelt a full thingy of iron, or what it gives you, but that'll be pretty good, and we'll be able to make a lot of forged steel out of it eventually. We've got a bunch of stone there as well. Right, let's go get that oil shale. I need at least, what is it, 2,000 for the full stack of gas? Yeah, 2,000 for at least a stack of gas. Ideally, a stack would be pretty good, because I could put, like, two fuel tanks worth of fuel in the... Oh, in the motorcycle, and I could put two stacks in... Or two half stacks, sorry, in the storage for later, and I'll be good to go. Here we are, so let's mine some of this up. Oh, good. I can two-shot this. The iron was more resistant. Oh, this is also a gather stone. I didn't have the gather stone one. Okay, what's this? Oh, and the gather oil shield one as well. Bunch of mining challenges. What else? Did, oh, yeah, you're not going to get the gathering one done until you find a lot of nuggets and diamonds and stuff, are you? Oh, my. Nitrate, coal, lead, and crushed sand. Crushed sand's such a weird one, but you could certainly do it. In fact, how much do you need to do? 1,000. How much do I get per hit of sand? 14. Eh, I could do this, but I'm not going to do it right now. Let's head back and do something a little bit more interesting. So we can queue up the quote-unquote stacks of gas cans. It's actually a stack and a half because it stacks to 10,000. But, you know, in the crafting sense, that's how much it is. I would need 25 minutes of fuel, though. A little bit more. And then craft those. So that's decent. Right, so let's go see if we can find some quests where I could maybe get some books and level up my handguns. Not a lot of these are very good. I think I'll take the buried supplies, now that I have a good shovel. And it it still progresses me towards tier 4 complete, just very slowly. If I can do these low level ones, my chance of getting a crafting skill magazine bundle is kind of the same. So if I can get like 4 of these done in one day versus 1 tier 4 and all I'm trying to do is get books, it seems smarter to be honest. Another limitation of them reducing the effectiveness of quest rewards, I suppose, but I don't mind. See, that's one of the things that I don't like about the change to the quest rewards, and I think it might be a good thing overall. But one of the definite downsides is there's no reason to risk a tier 4 or a tier 5 now, because you won't get anything that'll help you do them from them. So why would you do them if you wanted to progress, right? It makes much more sense to do the safe things. And just only take on the hard POIs when you're already well equipped. Whereas in like Alpha 21, I would have been like, oh, stun baton, let's go. Let's just start doing tier fours. We'll just get pump shotgun after pump shotgun. <laughs> this should be done pretty quickly with my shovel one-shotting all of this soil. There's a hazmat zombie. It's a very distinct noise now. Oh, it spawned another wave. Goddamn. This is only a tier two. Where the fuck is this thing? Where could it possibly be hiding? What? What the fuck? Is it in here? Was I sent to the wrong location? At least I'm gonna have some spare clay. Oh, there it is, right on the edge of the circle. Actually, outside the circle there. Oh, that is dog shit. Some of the worst container loot I've ever seen. Still, we're here for the quest rewards. Time is money. Take the crafting now skill magazine you're bundle. You're take ahead. another quest. I'll take a tier two I'm clear. Word of it. Open that up. Next time, a couple good things in there. I'll just eat the sharp sticks and I'll eat the farming because I'm done with farming now. I'll hold on to those tools for later though. See if we can get a few more of these done. Is potato the last seed you unlock? That feels wrong. Here we are. Start the quest. Reset these boxes. Paper. Book I already know, and book I already know. Outstanding start. Let's head inside. Mailboxes, maybe some more in here. Night Stalker, more XP at night. Me. And a looter book I already know as well. Knock up on them. Not with any particular deliberate action, but still. Paper again. I've just ran out of all the books to find at all. I mean, 
handguns would be nice game if you want to remember you're supposed to be boosting those. Those are gonna be overwhelming the loot table for a bit, I think, until we get the auger and stuff. I don't mind it this time though because it's after I've got the crucible in the vehicle, so it can do what it wants. Nothing too good there, but a first aid kit's nice. Tech planet. Oh, I didn't mean to read that, god damn it. Nothing there. Good meds. Oh, got a skill point. Uh, I think more agility would make sense so we can unlock more pistol magazines. Two shovels, fuck off. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Oh wait, is this anything good? I poured your head in some wood, okay. Oh, no big bundle. I will take some free ammo. What can I do then? Another well, tier 2 clear, the, just really, fun. really quickly, maybe get it done before he closes, I doubt it though. Could get lucky. Start the quest. Oh, there's a rope ladder. Enforcer shoes, faster run speed, nice. Oh, the end loop. Hello. Some preacher gloves. I already have much better ones than that, though. Bunch of armor parts. I think they made that change in the last update. Kinda nice. Oh, Treasure Hunter mod. You get 10% extra XP, 5 loot stage, and minus 1 treasure radius. Kinda combining the nerdy glasses and the loot goggles from the old update there. I'm not gonna wear them though, because I don't have any slots on my helmet, and I would rather have the two strength that I get from my helmet right now. Also, XP again, don't care. <laughs> Been over this, I'm not gonna keep saying it. <laughs> right, let's go see if we can get a reward. Probably not though. Trader Rex is now closed. Damn it. So get off my lawn. We missed Trader Rex, that's fine. So we're up to 71, that'll be 73 out of a hundred. So we're making a little bit of progress towards tier four complete without me having to do much at all. Let's head back to base really quickly. Throw on the nerdy armor and read the tech planet and the two tools digest. Don't think that did anything, but okay. Right, so how's the forge doing? Another 95 forged steel coat. So what do I even want to make? I'll probably wait on the steel axe because we're pretty close to getting like level 6 and stuff. Although I would probably wait for level 5. I don't know if I would want a level 6 steel axe. Actually, you know, yeah I would. I would. I don't know if I would want a level 6 steel pickaxe. But steel axe, yeah I'll get a level 6 one of those I think. So do I have a single legendary part still? Because I think it's time I got an actual goddamn firearm in this video game. Level 6 pistol. Now you might be laughing at that and be like, haha, that's a shit gun. But no, no. You simply do not understand. We need to make more glue, but that's fine. The, the pistol is genuinely pretty good if you're specced for it. And you get like a high quality one, which I'm making a level 6, so of course. How many pistol parts is that? 6. Goddamn. We need to make a little bit of forged iron as well, that's fine. We can cancel some of this steel. Give me 22 forged iron and then just do steel and then I need glue. Oh, never mind, I've had some I made earlier. I will queue up some more though. There we go, and while I do this, I should cook more of my regular water as well. I have 29 bottles sitting there. Queue that up, I'll need more fuel than that then. Right, and then let's duct tapeify the glue. Scientific term there, duct tapeify. Why does it say I can craft it? No, I can't. What are you talking? What? Oh, I can make a level 1, but I wouldn't be able to make a level 6, so it's highlighted. That's confusing. Make that duct tape and wait for my forged iron. Hmm, do I have any mods that would actually work on it? We've got an extended mag there. 
We've got another expend extended mag here. There's a burst mod which could go on there. I do kind of like pistols with scopes as well. Um, hunter mod is pretty good. Yeah, we could we could make something out of that. Just need to wait 30 seconds for that stuff. How is this doing? Two of the stacks are done. Nice. Let's take them out to the motorcycle. There we are. Let's craft ourselves a level 6 pistol. Now, if I also wanted a magnum, what would I need for that? 60 forged steel for a level 3 magnum. That is a costly magnum, it must be said. But it would also be probably worth it, to be honest. Have I got 9 handgun parts spare, though? Nah, I don't even have 9 handgun parts. Do I have any spare handguns? Clearly not. We can visually see that. So I wouldn't really be able to make much of a magnum anyway. But that's next up on the list. And then it'll be an SMG and maybe a Desert Vulture after that if I want one. There we are, finally, a gun worth using. 46 damage, kind of similar damage to the Pike Machine Gun, but of course it uses 9mm, so it's a lot more cost effective. And with all of its mods, it does 61 damage. I'd bet this would probably do some real damage to a regular zombie. Let's go clear a POI with it. Problem is, I don't actually know what POIs I have and haven't cleared. Have I been here? I have. There's a loot bag in there. Or maybe just a, like a, a wandering horde died in there. Anybody home? Oh, well, I'm going to get this loot. Some ammo, nice. Anybody respawned in here? Surely it was more than seven days ago the last time I was here. I guess not. Maybe you're too close to it. Maybe you don't actually have to go into the POI. Maybe this is just too close. Let's go find somewhere else. I really don't think I've been here. I know I killed the vulture and stole the loot. Or the um, trader satchel, but I don't think I cleared it normally. I just need a quick test run for my pistol, that's all. Nice head pop there. Nice head pop there too. Yeah, once I've got some points in this, it's probably going to be capable of one-shotting the weaker normal zombies, which is nice for a gun to have for like a cost of a 9mm bullet. So that's good. It's not like an M60, obviously, but it's a solid weapon to have on you. I could, t like, comfortably clear tier fours with one of these. Bookshelf. Paper. Anything in the actual loot room here? Ooh, a double armor pocket mod. Pretty sure I have one of those just sitting waiting to be used. I just don't know if I have the armor slots for them. It's in here. Shotguns and rocket launcher part. Cool. Give me like two normal pistols. Oh, god damn it. Now, one nice change they did make to the lockpicking perk, by the way, is now it'll get you more lockpicks in loot. Find two extra lockpicks in loot when they're found. So that is nice if you're a big fan of actually lockpicking. But the thing they nerfed about it was its utility is like leveling workstations but not in any useful way just in ways that will only affect players who weren't trying to do it anyway so now if you don't really care about the game as much as some people you're just going to be punished for it for not knowing the little details and min maxers will just have like a stash that they'll break into when they're ready oh what's this lumberjack gloves i don't remember if i have those so i'll grab them worst case scenario it gets turned into an armor part later right, let's go I have some more time in this episode. Let's go find somewhere else to clear. Anybody home? Oh no, I've been here recently. The D. Smith residence. Is that this house behind me? Have I been here recently? I remember this one. Has it respawned though? Let's have a look. How often do they fucking respawn? Is it not every seven days? I guess not. Either that or I was here a lot more recently than I thought. One place I've definitely not cleared is this junkyard, because I've never cleared it, because I've never looked like the look of it. But we can certainly go in and shoot things now. <laughs> Probably a dog in here, I imagine. Hello? That was predictable. Yep, this gun does a good job against those too. For insane difficulty, being able to two-tap things like that, more than enough for what I need from a gun right now. What are we getting here? Am I supposed to just climb over? Maybe there's a button. Maybe I'm supposed to jump here, actually. Hang on. That was not a very good jump. You know what? I don't even think my character can jump. I'm so used to having parkour. Here we are. Right, let's get the shotgun crate, then. Give me a handgun magazine and teach me how to make SMGs. Nope, that's just ammo. Okay. Ooh, there's a feral white in here. 
Is that guaranteed? Because that's horrifying. I've, I've phased him through the wall. Mailbox. Great heist I'm already aware of. Have a look in here. A baton and some corn. Nothing great in this POI then, but we got a decent fight. A random feral white just in a tier 0 POI in the woods. That must be guaranteed. There's no way my game stage is high enough to cause that. A mailbox I've not looted. Oh, a mailbox I have looted. I've betrayed myself. Here's one I actually haven't looted. Tech junkie. We're done with that now. Look in here. Anybody home? Look on the floor. Tools digest. Medical journal. Yep, we're done with that now, so I don't have to see them anymore. What's this? Lumberjack boots. I think I have a pair of those, but again, there's no harm in grabbing them. Wiring 101. I don't really care about min-maxing those either. I rarely build with anything from them. So another one of these houses. Just across the street. Let's go there. Yeah, one zombie. Oh well. Alright, well I think I've still proven my point. The pistol's pretty decent against basic zombies. Even more so once I've actually put points in. Well, these guys are fast. Home cooking weekly. I probably should min-max those actually, because one of the biggest issues with them is there's so fucking many of them that you have to collect. For little to no benefit from most of them, so it would be nice to not have to collect as many. Right, let's go home. Actually, wait, let's read the Tools Digest and Home Cooking Weekly. I don't think we got any doubles from that. Unfortunate. Ah, full tank of gas. So, tomorrow we'll hand in that quest, and then I think we should take on just like an actual harder quest. Just for the fun of it, but I'd still agree that it's not really worth doing the harder quests, strategically speaking, but I want to do something a bit more fun. But yeah, if I just wanted books, just hammer out tier 2s and 3s, I think. Remember, you can get a 7 Days to Die server for 1.0 in the link in the description. I do not need these old lumberjack boots, and I don't need these lumberjack gloves. I will make a commission if you use the link, by the way. My members and patrons get early access to new videos. If that interests you, then check that out in the description as well. If not, don't worry, it will come out for everyone anyway. Thank you so much for watching this episode of 7 Days to Die 1.0. And I'll see you in the next one.